But after going through a lot of dangers, I found and lost something interesting. What? Hello. Uh -oh. <laughs> it seems that's an actual person in our trap. You're right, everybody. We are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger. Uh, more than one way. This right here is uh, Dreamy Love. And I think you'll definitely enjoy this one if you happen to be a fan of or enjoyed Helltaker. Now, Helltaker, dealing with a bunch of demon girls. Here, we're going to be dealing with monster girls. It's going to be more of a fantasy setting, but expect very similar style to Helltaker. In terms of the story, how it's presented, as a matter of fact, I'd even go as far as saying the main character here might share a resemblance as well. That said, let's get to it. Ah, it was just amazing. Even though this trip turned out to be spontaneous, it was really enjoyable and fun. If I had known it would have been like this from the beginning, I would have traveled like this every month. Elves, demons, beastmen, monsters, bosses, and even magic. This is exactly what a true fantasy world should be like. Oh, I love stories like this. What are you talking about again? You know this is some kind of entertainment. In fact, all he did from the beginning to end was share the bed with various... I mean... Look. I'm an adventurer. I, I gotta go out and... Gotta balance your monster slaying with a little bit of side fun. You need to be talking this nonsense for a long time, you drunken idiot. Right, that's enough for you, drunkie. I've been fought... I've been fought? Okay. A couple of grammar issues here and there. I've been fought side by side with you the whole time, actually. And anyway, did you even really like those girls? Wait a second, you're not jealous, are you? Of course I'm not jealous. But it's just that if you get too close to someone, it wouldn't bode well for the future. Yep, she's really jealous. Well, first I had to fight the seemingly cute rabbits that would bite my head off. Then I had to fight a golem that wanted to pierce me with a huge crystal. And I had to fight spiders. But it was fun. Wait, I was in serious danger too. And you think it's an interesting story? It's pretty much routine for me. Okay then, I'll start over. Pour me another beer. Seems like a fine place to begin the story. From the usual morning... wood. When the sun rays were already breaking through the windows, as they always do, our hero woke up cheerful. But there was no one to share this cheerfulness with. After an active start to the day, he felt a strong hunger. As it turned out, there was no food left in the house at all. With a face full of fearlessness, he threw his cloak over his naked torso and went into the woods to check his traps, hoping to have something hearty and tasty for breakfast. So, um, here we have an infinite amount of tries, luckily for us, but let's learn the issues over here, at least the hazards, so... Um, I have to imagine, we're stuck. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could stab myself over there to see if it kills me instantly, if we have like an HP type of system, but, uh, well, here we go. Let's try it with this. We just take damage. Although maybe in an actual non-tutorial level it would kill us. Oh, something's in the trap. Your trap broke my mirror and damaged my tail. But does it know how to speak? How could you not notice it? The trap is the size of you. And... are you edible? I'm gonna turn you into something edible. I teleported to this point, idiot. Yeah, it matter. She wouldn't shut up the whole way. What? Who would save your arrogant ass, gave you advice, healed and resurrected? Ah? Uh? Yes, ma'am. It was you, ma'am. Already thank you many times. I can do more if you take your lovely human form. I can even do it right here. Shut up. This is exactly why I won't take my human form. Oh, it's a pity. You were so sweet. Get lost. And who kept turning me into a sheep, in general? What's wrong with your magic? Because you were always going the wrong way and it pissed me off. Calm down. Why are you always arguing? I love the teaser. Her face is just charming when she's angry. Fool. Why don't you go on? I've sobered up from your bickering. Besides, so far your talk has been boring. Why did you go with an idiot like him in the first place? Oh, well, I just broke her mirror. Speak clearly. Her, ma her magic mirror fell into my trap and broke. The fragments scattered to different points. If I had not gone looking for them, she would have turned me into a sheep for good. 
Why is this mirror so important? It's not just a mirror, it's a vessel with my souls. Each of the shards contains my appearance. If I do not put the mirror back together, I will not be able to control them. They will separate from me and become separate beings scattered all over the world. And not all of them are as cute as this little beast you see now. Oh yeah, well, one of them gave me a lot of problems. Uh? But after going through a lot of dangers, I found and lost something interesting. What? Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> it seems that's an actual person in our trap. Oh, I don't see anyone here. Going this way was a good idea. Wait, I see something in the tree. Could it be something big and juicy caught in my trap? Oh, I'm finally going to be able to eat meat. Yeah, in more than one way. I'm sick of mushrooms and berries, and the first trap must be this noisy ferret instead of a mouth-watering portridge. What are you mutting about over there? Don't relax. There might be powerful monsters in a place like this, deep in the woods. Okay, so this one, we do have uh, apparently 21 turns to get to our destination here, so no more tutorialized for us. Um, go down from here? No, trees blocking my way. So that's going to go down through there. And obviously here, we got to punch down. Now, if I punch down one more time, I think we gotta go this way, right? Yeah. We got seven turns. Uh, if we take the seven turns and go up around like these spikes, we can't make it because by the time we go around and we punch that block, we'll run out of turns. And I have to imagine we have to get to the square next to that girl there. What happens if we get stabbed? We lose two. But you know what? It's actually less. Yeah, it actually saves us one extra spot by doing that. Okay, perfect. So now, bam, bam. Hey, don't come near me. You're one of those rude barbarians, aren't you? Let me go now. Look, you've occupied my best trap. And if I don't eat soon, I'm going to be awfully angry. I'll tell you who I am if you untie me and promise not to do anything weird with me. What are you getting at? What, what weirdness? Promise. Ah! Rude, uncouth, bumpkin. I am the mage's commander of the second battalion of Her Highness, the Princess of the Kingdom of Lavinia, Amelia Barrett. My guard consists of the finest girls in the kingdom. In addition, they all have outstanding talents in both martial and literary arts. Hmm. All right. Tell me, the commander of the royal army. J just Amelia. Tell me, Amelia, what is the commander of the guard doing alone in the woods, caught in my trap? Where is your army? If you're a mage. Why haven't you freed yourself with magic? My staff has fallen and it's over there. I can't use magic without it. I couldn't reach it. Mm, but you could have just pulled yourself up and untied the rope yourself. Well, you know, in training, wizards usually develop mental abilities, not, not physical ones. Yeah, you should take care of the physical strength too, after all. Otherwise, your guard should be ashamed of the commander who couldn't handle a piece of rope. Hey, are you trying to trick me now? I don't have time for you right now. I'll get my staff and turn you into a frog. Are you kidding me? Why does everyone want to turn me into an animal? I think you are the animal. Okay, so it does seem that because it's a demo, the story, or at least what they show you here is kind of like, you know, skipping ahead. So after releasing that mage from our trap, who knows what happens between now and then, but it seems we have moved on further in because we're apparently now in some sort of dungeon or cave system at least. Let's see what our little friend here has to say. We managed to cross the forest safely. Who would have thought it would be so easy? It's all thanks to my strength. Well, well, well. Next goal of the adventure. Wait for me. What's the matter with you? I'm sure the shard is somewhere in that direction. We need to cross that crevice. Now are we going to do that? I can't just jump that far. Maybe we, we could use your magic to get across? <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a chicken and you just might be able to fly over. Yeah, it was expected. But seriously, there must be some lever or button that will definitely help us. How do you know this? Read in a dungeon tourism guide. Oh, of course. Okay, so obviously I don't got to tell you, but that shining symbol over there might be the lever that we're looking for. It'll probably pop something up to get us across. So the thing's going to be, how do we get there quick and back? Um, I mean, I guess this makes the most sense to me. Okay. I mean, it seems a bit too easy to be honest with you. Oh, it goes back. So we probably have to push one of these bricks on top of it. Okay, okay. Reset me. Question is, which of these blocks is going to be the culprit? 
The one all the way up top right there, if I push it to the left, it can be pushed down because there's a wall right there. So let's do... Not sure if this is it. Three steps. Oh, I think it is. Ooh, okay. Just barely. For a second, I was standing myself. I'm like, I don't think we're gonna make it. It seems that the monsters have become stronger than usual. Fool, it's not just a monster, it's a high level boss. Not everyone can handle it, so make the most of your power. If it gets really hard, I'll cast a special energy shield on you. That doesn't seem that difficult. Do we really need to kill him? You can't get into the portal any other way. I can feel the shards somewhere near. Well, there's no other choice, so um, do we need to find a button here too? Am I right? Or how do I get to it? No, you don't need a button here. But you know that his attacks are unpredictable. I would try to warn you of them. Try to use his own weapons against him. Since he didn't bring anything with you for some reason. I heard some stories about golems. They only attack with small spikes where there are no rocks or splinters on the ground. Those spikes can be destroyed by rocks. Oh, and another thing. The less health it has, the stronger it is. So, don't relax. Although, of course, you have to sacrifice your health. I hope we can use this information. I'm not gonna turn you into a sheep this time. Okay. So, this one's not gonna be turn really, this is gonna be HP really. So, we have nine hits that we could apparently take. And it gets stronger, the weaker it gets. So, I gotta use his weapons against them, right? Oh, okay. Are you dropping them blocks on us now, huh? Oh, it's two hits so far. Spikes coming through there. I guess what we want to do is maybe avoid the spikes early on, right? So get them out of the way. So not a problem in the future. Oh! That block broke! Oh. That's right, we could maybe hold the... Ah! Too much! Okay, our, our boys are up there now. At least we got rid of that one. You get out of my way, please. Bam. Bam. Okay. Oof. Oof. I thought that was going to land right on me. Mmm. That one's going to break. Spikes are taking over right now, Doug. I need blocks in opportune positions for me to get rid of these things. Well, at least we have one of them hitters right here. I guess what I could do... Oh, that's going to break. Right there. I guess what I could do is, like, maybe lure a block by, uh... You know, chilling here. Oh no! Don't don't! Tra oh, trap me, you scum! I gotta take a hit now. All right, all right. But let's make sure. Th oh, well, that's there. I guess we'll take the hit to the left if we can. That's fine. It's worth it just for that hit alone. More spikes to the left. Get rid of that. That's gonna break. That's perfect. Do we need you to get through there? I need like a block. Uh, I'm gonna have to take another hit more than likely though. Nope. Okay, we got three spikes on the table here. I guess I could go over to the one in the upper right. But I'm hoping to get some blocks spawned here so I can take out this freaking line. Yo, dog, drop a block right here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, they landed on me. I didn't see the shadow because of the freaking spikes that have been crushed right there. There's at least four of these boys on the map. Could it be enough to kill them? Not sure. Drop a block right here. There it is. Some coverage. At this point, you know what? I feel like I'm going to take damage right there just to take it and get over to this side. That's because there's so many of these things here that I want to... Ah! Okay. Can you drop a block right here so I can get through again? I thought about the damage going in, but not the damage going back. Oh, he didn't drop the blocks of the freaking spike! Oh, that's three That's three damage right there, boys. Fine, we'll go this way. Mama. 
Do this. Oh, break this. Hmm. No, don't need to take any extra XP damage. We can just do this. Okay, there it is. Bam. Bam. We got another spike over there. Is that spike enough to kill him? I'm not sure. Oh! Like. Well, at least we've alleviated the situation we had here when it came to the spikes, so. Yeah, more move. That's gonna break. More room to break move around, at least. Oh, there it is. That should be it. If we could get a block somewhere around here. Raid. Perfect. Now this one, break it. Boom. 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 Oh, we got it. Get him out of here. Are you still alive? Oh no, I gotta go to the upper right. But look at the situation in front of me. Lure it. It's fine. You got this. You just gotta lure it. Need a, oh god, look at the spikes all over the place. Can you just like put like one of the weapons in front of me? I can just punch it to you and that's it. <gasps> Thank you. That's so very kind of you. Uh, you know what? Just take the damage. He's still alive! Okay, you know what? That's fine. We have a path to this one. There. Let's go! Is that a cat girl? Sorry, Neckle girl? Uh, when I pull the kitty from the golem. You promised you wouldn't say anything to anyone. Oh, she's back there. Oh, right. Sorry, the uh, the alcohol was getting into my head. I completely forgot. Oh, too bad. I'm sure Kitty would have been an entertaining story. That's enough. Stop it. Too bad, too bad. I thought I was going to hear a truly obscene story with details about her princess. Shh. Quiet. Well, I can tell you what about what happened to me in the mountains when I finally decided to rest and sleep. Don't forget to tell about what was waiting for you before camp. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Oh, what a careless guy. The place where you can sleep is a little further away, and they say there are demon spiders living here, so you can't let your guard down just yet. So these are the spiders? I should deal with them? If the spiders are pinned against the wall and have nowhere to go, they likely run away. Okay, so we just go up to it and punch it? <laughs> yes. Violence sells everything. This didn't kill it. You know, just kind of... pieced out. Um... If I push that block to the right, it'll get stuck, so I think we have to go after this spider here. Now. As far as you guys are concerned. If I push this block up, I'm theoretically stuck. So I think we have to push you. Haha! <laughs> okay, while you're resting, I'll try to look for a trail of other shards. Got it. Though... Oh, that's a thought. I wonder where this tent came from. Oh, but I'm too tired to think about that now. This is a random uh, tent that we found in the woods. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? It was a goddamn succubus. That was uh, my best uh, chef's dad impersonation based on memory because it's been ages since I heard chef's dad, but uh, yes, it was indeed. A succubus trap. <laughs> How about that? Never sleep in the random tent you find in the woods is the moral of the story here, especially in a fantasy type of setting. This story was told drunkenly. The real story of a hero's journey is likely to be different. It will probably be even longer and more interesting. Thank you for visiting our demo tavern. Add our game to your wish list. Oh, it's cute. Are you, by the way, uh, an orc girl or a goblin girl? Oh, either way. Remember that drinking too much alcohol is bad for your health. All right, I guess I'll just keep cleaning the floor, won't wash itself. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. As I've mentioned, everything here is so far just a little bit of a teaser for the full game, but you obviously saw the visual story elements and the visual novel story elements and the Helltaker-like gameplay, so I thought I'd check it out. To be honest with you, the animations were pretty good. Well, what, what animations you were saying? Oh, um, never mind. I'll catch you guys next time.